through chapter 10, verses 26 through 29. We were uh, kind of ending that up. We were talking about deliberately uh, keep on sinning after we have after we have received the knowledge of truth. And that knowledge of truth, page 26, 27, I'm sorry. That knowledge of truth is that Jesus, excuse me, that knowledge of truth is that there's no more sacrifice for sins left. The knowledge of truth is there is no more sacrifices for sins. You know, Jesus is the last sacrifice for sin. He is the Lamb of God who has taken away the sins of the world. And so the scripture says if we deliberately keep on sinning against that knowledge, and to sin against that knowledge is to reject it, to reject that Jesus is the last sacrifice. So back during this time, what the writer of Hebrews is saying is, to sin against the knowledge of truth is to go back under the law and to uh, use the, uh, the blood of bulls and goats as your sacrifice to, to obtain your forgiveness. To reject Jesus as the Lamb of God and to continue to go back under the old system of getting your sins forgiven based on how the sacrifice was given to the high priest. Uh, when first he took his blood in. And then he took the blood of the people. So if you continue to do that, what he's saying, what the book of Hebrews is saying is, you are sinning against the knowledge of truth. Because if I've told you that Jesus is the last sacrifice, he's the Lamb of God. If you say no to that, you're rejecting the knowledge of truth. And that, that is called the sin of unbelief. And so we were talking about that last week. And so, and also we were saying, for us today, if we are... Uh, are continuing to ask God to forgive us. Because that was, that was a big controversy last week. Uh, if we continue to ask God to forgive us, what are we doing? Because Jesus has already died. He's already forgiven us. He's already taken away the sins of the world. So the only way we can get forgiveness is through the blood. Without the shedding of the blood, there is no forgiveness. So to, to, to deliberately keep on sinning today is is to ask him to do something that he's already done. And so to do that is meaning that I am sinning against the knowledge of truth. In other words, I am walking in unbelief. I'm not believing that he is. I'm not believing that he has, past tense, has forgiven me, so I'm asking him to. And we practice that with confession and repentance. Uh, and we talked about repentance. Repentance, understanding that the gospel message was given to us that Jesus has died and our sins have been removed and we're forgiven. The gospel message, the good news of the gospel message is that our sins have been removed and forgiveness is found in Christ. So we come to him for forgiveness. Do we? Yeah. Do we come to him for forgiveness? Or do we come to him because he has forgiven us? Oh, he has forgiven us. Yes. He has forgiven yeah. us. See, the story is that Jesus died and forgave me, for, died for my sins, and he's forgiven me. That's the message, right? right? So I'm coming to him because he has done that. I'm not coming to him to get him to do it. I'm coming to him because the repentance is, is that I'm mind changed. He's forgiven me. My forgiveness is in him. Okay, mind change. I'm repenting. I'm believing what he said. So I'm responding to what, he, to what, he, what he's done. In faith. In faith, yeah. most definitely in faith. See, because of my own works, this is my own works. If I am practicing repentance to get him to forgive me, or confession to get him to forgive me, that's not faith. It's not faith. If I'm using repentance to ask him to forgive me, that's not faith. Why is it not faith? Because you are using... Uh, repentance to obtain acceptance. He's already accepted you. If you're born again, you've been accepted. So nothing takes you. Nothing takes you out of the acceptance. Sin is no longer taking you out of the acceptance or separating you from God anymore, because He's dealt with sin already. Because sin lies where in the flesh, and sin is what dead in the face of God, because Jesus has dealt with sin already. So anything on our part would be works? It would be works. Uh, uh, practice repentance is works. There's no difference than practicing the bulls and the goats. 
So our responsibility is just receiving it by faith? Receiving it by faith. Okay, the, the first repentance we did was this. When we heard the message, we repented. See, because if we use repentance for repenting of my sins, okay, what happens when you don't repent of the sin? Chastisement. What if you forget? What if you forget to repent of a sin? What happens? That's. Is, it, is confession the same thing as repentance? No, they're different. Confession is still needed. When you say, "Well, let me do repentance first, then we're going to get to that. Uh, if I forget to repent of my sins, what happens? If if that's what we're practicing, what happens if I forget to repent? Of my sins. Am I going to hell? No. No. What happens? I'm going to get punished? No. Because the, the only thing, this is only one punishment for sin. It's death. That's the only punishment for sin. It's death. So if if I don't repent of a sin, I'm practicing repentance. When I don't repent, what is my reward? Oh, you see, what I'm going with this is not something you keep continually to do. I see what you're saying. <clears throat> Repentance is you'll never do it again. In other words, uh, I'm, re I'm, I'm not going to smoke uh, uh, cigarettes anymore. I'm repenting. I'm not going to smoke any cigarettes anymore. Uh, next month, I pick up a cigarette. That repentance that I claimed that I did? Was not provoked. No, it wasn't. Repentance is not something you pick up and use as, as, a, as a tool to... To satisfy your own conscience. A, a true repentance is, it don't happen no more. So only, only, honestly, only true repentance I know in my life, that I know I'll never have to repent of again, is God. And that I do know. But to, to, uh, to say, I'll never do what you do, or I'll never do what you do, or I'll never do that again. How many promises have we made God that we won't do something again? And then we repent. What does repentance do for you when you repent after you sin? Well, it's healing and restoration. Healing and restoration. For how long? Do you do it again? Yeah, I've repented. To repent is to change your mind and go the other direction so that you're no longer you're no longer involved in the thing that you're talking about. So I see what you're saying. It's a it's a Yeah, see, see, you you, you can't hold you can't hold repentance on your behavior and think uh, that it's going to be, uh, in other words, you're going to use that for your, for your foundation, for your life. Because you're going to be back and forth. Your repentance has to be of faith in what the work that God has done, not in the work that you're trying to do. Because the work that God has done, that's, that's, that's what you're repenting to, the work that he has accomplished for us. And that's going to infiltrate through our, through our inner being, and that's going to change our behavior. See, I'm, I'm trying to change my behavior by repenting. Lord, help me to stop doing this. I repent today. I repent tomorrow. I, I, I've been there and done that. But true repentance of with the with the mind change, with the heart, so that that I'll carry out what the Spirit is saying to my heart. God doesn't want us to do something outwardly, you know, to uh, to, to be fooling ourselves. You know, uh, how how did He draw us by love? He drew us by his love and kindness to follow after him. Not by practicing this, this <clears> method, <throat> this system. Because they had that when, in the Old Testament. They had a system. Forgive, think about them. I said, this is strange. Under the Old Covenant, forgiveness wasn't, wasn't a problem with them. They believed they had more faith than the bulls and goats of being forgiven than we do with, with blood of Jesus. Yeah. Help me somebody. They got more faith in the blood of bulls and goats that they were forgiven. They will show up next year. We can't go a week without repenting and leave chapel without repenting because we don't feel forgiven with the blood of Jesus. And they at least go a whole year and come back with another animal because they had more faith in the blood of bulls and goats. But we still arguing about am I forgiven or am I not? So On the blood of Christ. So my repentance then is the repentance in my unbelief that the finished work of Jesus' blood has been forgiven and that it covers, I mean, that it, it takes my sin away. I don't need to keep repenting. No. Because I'm repenting from my unbelief, correct? So yes. Unto salvation. No, no. 
No, it was six episodes. But you're not keeping step with repentance. Let, let's deal with this right here. Let me deal with you saying. See, because really, your life, your life is a repentant life. It's not, it's not a life that you're trying to repent. Your life is a repentant life, a repentant life when you came to Christ. See, it's not something you're practicing. It's something you received. But first it starts in the belief. It has to start in the mind that I believe the work that God has accomplished for me. So my mind is changing when I believe there's a repentance to believing right. what God yes, has done for me. That's what I was me. trying to say. Yeah. So, so, so when, I, when, I, when I receive that, now I begin to grow in the love of God. See, so now I'm growing in the love of God concerning who I am and who He is. And hoping, and, and yeah. so, my, hopefully my see, conduct see, is going to reciprocate, right? Yeah, see, see, because God is not surprised about your flesh. He wasn't, he wasn't surprised about it before He saved you, and He ain't surprised about it when He saved you. Matter of fact, in His sight, our flesh is filthy rags. Our best is filthy rags. Not, be, not only when you wasn't saved, but when you are saved, your flesh is filthy rags. The only good in your flesh is Him. So the only good work that he that he's looking at is the work that he's done. Right. So he we are in good works in Christ that God will look in us and do a work through us. You know, in other words, I am not letting your flesh. I'm gonna say this. God is saying, I am not letting your flesh hinder me from moving through you. You are letting your flesh hinder you from me moving through you because you're steady because you're not believing what I've done for you accomplished for you I got to deal see the blood deals with the mind he says the blood cleanses our conscience from what from dead yeah, works exactly, it's yeah. a dead work that is trying to accomplish something uh, in, a, in, a, in a system of my own effort to get to get God to do something that's my own work faith is believing that he's accomplished something and let's move on now, am I going? Am I? Am I going? Uh, uh, not sin anymore. That's not the issue. The issue is love. God living in me and moving through me. Because if my mind is on love, I ain't got time to try to steal your money. I ain't got time to try to rob you. I ain't got time to be looking for the dope man and all this kind of other stuff. Because my heart has been won in love towards Christ. But only, only we know what our heart is and what we're plotting to do and what the enemy is trying to trick us to do in here or when we get out of here. But my heart has to be won by God. His love has to overwhelm me by not what I'm trying to do for him, but what he has done for me. I got to get in this book, you know, what do we say, you know, uh, I burn all my bridges. If you don't reveal yourself to me to, to how you love me, I, I'm not going to make it. I'm not gonna, it's, it's not going to happen. You're, because I, I used to do that, what you're talking about. And what, what you were saying about every sin that comes to my mind or everything that I do, uh, you know, the things that I'm doing, I, 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 I repent of it. Whether it's looking at a woman, saying something wrong. What's happening in that is your sin conscience. Because the Lord says, let us examine ourselves and test them. So we always have to examine oh, wait, hold, 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 hold it. Um, your sin conscience. You're, you're, you're walking in, in sin consciousness instead of righteousness. You say you're righteous, but you're walking in sin consciousness. See, because when we understand what we're talking about here, about Christ being the last sacrifice, what the blood of Jesus has done. It has cleansed our conscience. The sin I did today, the sin I will do tomorrow, has been forgiven. It's not Jesus plus repentance. It's not Jesus plus confession. It's not Jesus plus all these other things we add on to it to make ourselves right with God. It is Jesus alone. The faith in Christ is that he's done it all. So in my daily walk, because we, you will sin and I will sin, but he's dealt with it already. 
So the confession that you're saying, because even our own conscience don't let us continue as a child of God just to continue in sin. Our own, our own conscience don't do that. Now before I came to Christ, I can care less. But the love of God that's in me, I'm not confessing because I don't want to go to hell. I'm not confessing because if i got to confess to you, it's because something I've done to you or you've done to me and we need to talk. But I'm not confessing to God because uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm in fear of his punishment. No, 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 no. I'm confessing to God because I don't like it in the first place. But I find myself here again. You know, but I hear him saying this because even when we practice repentance or use confession as a band-aid or whatever, you know what I believe God would say? My grace is sufficient. <coughs> What you're asking me to do, or what you wanted me to do, I've already done. Sin, sin, sin is not the issue. Not that I continue to sin. Sin is not the issue that I continue to go towards Him. Because if, I, if I'm spending more time uh, repenting of sin, hoping that I'm right with God, than spending time with God. Yeah, that, it does do that to me. I yeah, you know, I, I mean, I, I, well, I, I think I was good at it. I could snatch a sin like this. The scripture says, bring every thought captive, captive little bit. Brother, I was good at that. I, I was good at that. You know, and, uh, and so, uh, but my mind was on what? Sin. Focused on the Sin, all day long. No, no, no. That's not where our mind's supposed to be. Why? Because when my mind is there, I have forgotten what the blood has accomplished. Mm -hmm. That's where the, their mind was at under the bulls and the goats. They were sin conscious because they were never made, their minds, their conscience was never made perfect. Yeah, their conscience never was clear because it of sin. It was never clear because of sin. But sin has been removed. God said, I'm not counting sin against you. What does that mean to us? But Lord, but Lord, I know you're not counting against me, but let me, let, let, let me, let me, let me confess it. Let me repent of it. So just in case. So is that my doubt and unbelief? Because I'm not real, yeah. Yeah, uh, it, towards what he has done. But aren't we called to obedience? Obedience. Through love. Obedience is a byproduct of the relationship that I have with him. Yeah, yeah. See, because this, this is like a marriage. Uh... You're not being obedient in the marriage because, or she's not being obedient in the marriage because, uh, I don't want you to leave me. Uh, uh, I'm scared of you. No, no, obedience is a byproduct because I love you. You can ask me to take out the trash. Well, I don't know about that, but you, you know you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, flat tire, I'm, I'm coming, you know. Trash a little bit. You know, but anyhow, <laughs> but obedience is a byproduct. If I use, which, which I understand, believe me, I, I, I think I heard a whole lot and I'm trying to live a whole lot of obedient life. But none of us can do this in obedience. None of us. Because if I think, when I look back at my life, if I think my obedience have brought me right here, yeah. ain't no way in the world, ain't no way in God's Son that my obedience brought me right here. It's his obedience. I put my faith in his obedience. That's why I'm here. It's with his faithfulness, not my faithfulness. Because our faithfulness, we put, we put our trust in our faithfulness, how long is it going to last? For a week? A day? A few hours? Well, Nick, yeah. No. What did Paul say? Uh, I am what I am? The By the grace of God. Oh. I am what I am. Right here. By the grace. That's one step. By the grace of God. That what? That what? That I'm accepted in his sight. None of us, we can't boast. Is that why he said, no, no, I don't he live it. He lives. <laughs> Sorry. Is that why he said, he said, not, yet not I, but Christ <coughs> lives in me. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. He was basically, he wasn't, excuse me, he wasn't conscious of anything, he was just conscious of Christ. Yes, um, the life that we, that we are living, brothers, sisters, the life that we are living, it's not our life. But he's living his life through us. And so, what the enemy is doing is confusing us about this fleshy life and his life. We're so busy trying to get this fleshy life together uh, in our own effort, 
trying to cross every T and dot every I, that we're not, we're not uh, resting in the life that we have that's in Christ. And when I say rest in it, rest in it that, that the work that, that God, the life that God has given me is a life that's in Christ. And that life is not, that life is not going around repenting. That life is not going around confessing. Matter of fact, that life don't sin. He says, I see you as if you've never sinned. Now what are we going to do with that one? What is a new creature? A new creation. Did he make us new creations where we need to, we still need to repent? We still need to ask him for forgiveness? Why would he have done that? Why would we be, well, I, I'm a new creature then. If I still need to be forgiven, I'm not a new creature. That'd be an incomplete new creature. Yeah, I'm not complete. That makes sense. So who am I? Glory to God. If this, if this ain't the life <laughs> I have... Then I want to jump on that too. <laughs> Help me get it.